Olá a todos! Whether you've been studying Portuguese for a long time or you're just starting now, some words can be a challenge for almost any Portuguese learner. These words are often used a lot and are essential to know. In today's episode, we are going to talk about the word já. Are you comfortable using this word? After this video, you will master it. If you enjoy my content, subscribe to my channel and check out my Patreon page to access my exclusive premium content. Did you know that if you join my top tier, you can be part of a monthly group class with me? E agora, vamos começar! Já can mean many things in Portuguese. Some meanings are right now, already, yet, and ever. In grammar, já is mostly an adverb. It also plays an important role when used in fixed expressions for everyday life. Let's take a close look at some of the meanings of já as an adverb. Já as immediately, right now, or right away. Abre já a janela. Está muito fumo aqui. Open the window right now. There's too much smoke in here. Volto já. I'll be right back. This is the kind of sign you can see when visiting Portugal on the door of some traditional shops. It means the salesperson had to leave for a few minutes. When used with a verb in the past, Já can mean yet, as well as already, but pay attention because it only means yet when in a question. O João já chegou? Has João arrived yet? A encomenda já foi para o cliente? Has the order gone to the customer yet? When still in the past, but in sentences, not questions, it means already, as in... Meninos, o filme já começou. Kids, the movie has already started. Eu já visitei muitos países. I have already visited many countries. Já can also carry the meaning of ever, when we mean at one time, at some point. You use it commonly in questions, but also as an affirmative response, just like yes, We use it specially to ask about people's life experiences. Já estiveste em Portugal? Have you ever been to Portugal? If you have been, you can reply with a simple já. If you are a more advanced student learning the conjuntivo mood, you can practice já to express the idea of by now. Já must be combined with the verbs in a way to express a condition, also using if, se. Eu já estaria em forma se fizesse exercício regularmente. I would be fit by now if I exercised regularly. We can also use já to sound very emphatic when you find the solution or answer that you were looking for. Já sei! I know, or when something is finally ready, já está, all done. When you understand something in class or that someone is explaining to you, we say, já percebi, I got it. But as I said in the beginning, já is part of expressions widely used in everyday life occasions. Let's check a few. Já agora meaning by the way, or now that you mention it, while you're at it. Vais ao supermercado? Então, já agora, traz café, por favor. Are you going to the supermarket? Then, while you're at it, bring coffee, please. Estiveste com a Manuela? Como está a família dela, já agora? Have you been with Manuela? How is her family, by the way? Desde já. This expression can be used when you want to mean in advance. Obrigada pela ajuda desde já. Thanks for your help in advance. Já naquela altura carries the meaning of 
even then, as in, conheço a Marta desde criança. Já naquela altura, ela era muito popular. I have known Marta since I was a child. Even back then, she was very popular. Now, a very useful one. Já não. This means no longer, not anymore. Let me show you an example. Estudei japonês por um ano, mas já não sei falar. I studied Japanese for one year, but I can no longer speak it. Next, we have já que. This expression means since, given that. Já que vais à festa, vemo-nos lá. Since you're going to the party, I'll see you there. I'm sure you've heard the next one. See you soon. See you in a bit. The very popular até já. This is what we say when we know we are seeing or meeting the other person in a short while, usually within a couple of hours. A lot of students use até já in an incorrect way. Remember that até logo is how we say see you later. It's broader in time, while até já is a brief short time until you see that person again. I'm sure you're quite surprised on how this two-letter word is so important in the Portuguese language. I hope you will be more comfortable using the word já from now on. If you enjoyed the video, leave me a like and a comment. Vemo-nos para a semana. Até lá!